Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of Sunshine in the Mirror. Ah, uh, yes, the, okay. I wanted to watch this on Sunday. I truly did. Um, of course, you know, I always work on Sundays and stuff. I came home, I ate food, I fell asleep. Mind you, I only had like three... <laughs> three hours almost halfway to four hours of sleep and I was very tired after working my shift and I I'd stayed up with my mom eventually and the next thing you know I think it was about like 4 30 going on five I crashed <laughs> and I was just like oh shit <laughs> but other than that it's got to get started with the final episode in three two one go Let's see how this ends, and if I'm going to cry. It don't even feel like the same damn show. That really does not look good. Oh! That's good. No one's really... Well, I'm guessing everyone, of course, duh, is panicking. But still, this is no laughing matter. Did he stay? Mm -mm. Um, it has to be. Just once again, the you and Connor, like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> My heart.
Okay. Yeah. Took you a while to find it. I, I think it might work when all of you are truly together.
I gotta say, like, the outfit gives me hella rainbow sherbet vibes. Like, oh my god. You know how, okay, it's not only that, but there's a certain type of ice cream that is, like, several different colors in one. So freaking good. Just, I haven't had it since I was, like, maybe, like, a teenager. I think they still sell it at Walmart, but it's so good. Now my thing is, where was Lilabs going? Baby. I believe so.
The baby has gone so far. <laughs> this is episode one. I'm just so proud of her. Mom's finally home. She stayed home. Mm. Oh shoot, Mao was in this? Nice. I wonder who she played.
This was good. So freaking good. Okay. Continuing on final thoughts. But yes, this was really freaking good. Like, oh my God. I feel like, you know, people who were not into Love Live and they saw this and they were like, okay. Love Live, Isekai-esque. I'm going to try it. And it was so funny because, like, everybody was, uh, at first, a lot of people who I saw on Twitter, specifically not fit. <gasps> ah! But they showed that. <laughs> oh, my God. Because it felt so, I knew we were missing someone, but oh, my God. Um... Everybody was like, at first, you know, they didn't know how to feel about it. There were so many people who were just like, this looks good, but because I'm not into idol series like that and such, I don't know. But I'm glad a lot of people really did actually take a chance on this. And this is everybody's, like, first initial, like, introduction to Love Live. And I think a lot of people are going to be like, you know what, I want to get into Love Live now and I want to watch Love Live and such. And it was just really good. Once again, I love the fact that, yes, my best girl got her own Mother Epic spinoff. I mean, yes, still, it features everybody. And I got to see all my girls. But it was Yohane's show. I mean, honestly, it's criminally freaking good. We all know, and I feel like, of course, the company is going to do something because, of course, this got a lot of money. We all know. So, I can see this definitely getting a second season. Yeah, if they don't do a season two for this show, it... <laughs> It's obvious, like, truly, like, I mean, and, and because you can give me that, you can give me the, the, the credits, you can give me the title card of the show and stuff, and you can still be like, yeah, we're probably going to do a potential season two. I mean, okay, we can, we can look at it like this. Let's look at freaking Superstar. Superstar and Nitsukasaki are once again, the first two shows that are now getting season threes. Once again, we've never truly had something like that in the world of Love Live. It's always been two seasons, a movie, and then we move on to the next group and such. And the fact is that with, you know, Aquas, we got two seasons, a movie, a spinoff and such. Nijikasaki got two seasons, a movie, a OVA that I think is possibly already out. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, and then freaking uh, Lelia, they got two seasons. I think they're going to get a movie, a third season coming, um, and then anything else in the works. And then also there's now another group in the works and such. Now, I mean, could once again, you know, between this series, Bandari, and we can now put, we can also put Idolmaster in the mix. Those three series and such, they always have something cooking and I'm not mad at it. I love, you know, when my Idol series just be like, yes, we, we're not, we're milking, but we're milking it for good reason though. I, I'm not mad at it because something also tells me, especially when we're, if you're someone who is in the Idolmaster Cinderella Girls or just in Idolmaster community as especially for Cinderella Girls and, you know, anniversary was just like less than so many amount of days ago and such and we're still celebrating that and such. Um, 
there's new information that's coming out, especially, like, some people think that we're going to get more characters again, um, but nothing's really in the war works for that series, such as now and such, and so I'm not mad at that, but truly, like, this was really freaking good. It makes me kind of also wish, once again, with my Muse girls, and I really do miss my Muse girls a lot, like, yes, I get to see, you know, Best Girl Knows Me, like, in the game, even though I barely play the game and such, because I'm always playing my other games, <laughs> um, but I, I really still want to see something with Muse. Muse is the first, and so I really think that maybe, I think due to this, and because of how big it got, not only because it is Love Live and such, there could be something in the works for the, I mean, uh, yeah, for the Muse Girls. I would really like that. I think a lot of us would like that. They could go the Pretty Cure route, which in a couple of weeks, we know the adult version of Yes, Pretty Cure 5 is coming out and such. They could do that with Muse. I really would potentially like to see an adult, especially like maybe after college, series for my muse girls just something to just be like hey we're not only like yeah we have all these new girls but we're not forgetting the ones who started and paved the way for the rest of these girl groups and such and i think that would really you know bring a lot of new new fans and og fans potentially together i mean i think this also brought you know old and new fans together because of course duh but i think bringing in Muse and bringing in, you know, all those nine girls together in one room, making me cry and such. I, I think that would be an incredible, like, life-changing decision. So, you know, somebody's making that idea. Somebody is writing that ish as, the, as we speak. Somebody has something in the works. They've probably been having it in the works ever since this last Sunday. Who freaking knows? But yeah, this was really good. Like I said, I would love to see a second season for this show. If they wanted to do it, if it's in the works, something. Um, but this was really adorable. I, I would love, like, I loved everything about it. Like, everything was pretty. I love how, yes, they took a chance on this because, you know, th thinking about, like, something like this and because, especially when this did initially start, it was an April Fool's joke and how big it got. And it was just like, yeah, let's just take a chance on it. If they Imagine if they didn't. Like, sit here and freaking imagine if they didn't. Who knows what it would have been like today and such. Yes, Love Live still would have been popular because it's Love Freaking Live and such. But so many people who didn't take that initiative probably wouldn't have known anything about this. But I would definitely recommend this is somebody um initially who has never seen Love Live, who would like to get into Love Live and such. I would definitely start this with that with them first and then go all the way back to OG and then bring them all the way up to this. Because, I, you know, I'd be like, <laughs> have like, have like a really nice t-shirt on and be like, mm -hmm, with my glasses and everything with a whiteboard and be like, you're ready to learn. I guess <laughs> that's what it is. When you go down the rabbit hole of idols, it is just freaking nuts and when you go down you never get out like no matter how hard you try you can't get out that's the same thing going down a k a k-pop <laughs> hole you never come out of that and such you are down there forever because you're always gonna find new groups you're always gonna find new idols and new animes and such so eh. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of Sunshine in the Mirror. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all later on this week for the continuation or, like, the final weeks of summer anime. And then in the next up and coming weeks, also not only in the start of my birthday month, but the start of fall anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.